The purpose of this video is to describe to you by demonstration the correct way to apply the transverse compression suture to control bleeding from postpartum hemorrhage placenta previa. Firstly, this is a model that we have created in soft wool to apply the suture. Secondly, the suture material ideally should be vehicle number one mounted on a 70 millimeter curved needle with a suture length of 90 centimeters to allow enough suture material available for the purpose. The first thing we do is we establish compression by, by manually in this manner with an assistant between the legs of the patient to ascertain that bleeding is controlled. This is to test the compliance of the suture effectively. After doing that, the suture, the uterus is exteriorized brought out of the body of the patient to facilitate easy access to all parts of the application. I will pass this model now on to my assistant who will perform the procedure with my assistants. Dr. Javid, you will see the first thing she does is three centimeters above the upper incision margin posteriorly behind the vascular compartment or the vascular bundle room you see the needle pierces the uterus and retrieved in the cavity the other limb of the suture is put on clip so we do not lose the tension on it. Having done that, you give yourself enough length of suture to continue the procedure. Now the suture lies posterior, in the posterior wall of the cavity of the uterus, to come from inside out three centimeters below the lower incision margin and by doing that you will see from this demonstration that this suture will then occlude the upper vascular system that supplies the lower segment and this one will occlude the lower which anastomos with that upper vascular pattern. Now the assistant, as you can see, picks up one centimeter tissue across the lower segment to stabilize the suture material so it does not migrate into the cavity of the incision. And from there, the assistant will go posterior to the vascular pedicle or bundle there to enter the uterine cavity. By doing so, an important demonstration is you got occlusion of the upper part of the vascular system, occlusion of the lower part of the vascular system here. The suture runs through coming to the cavity of the uterus on the other side. Now the surgeon will go through the cavity three centimeters above the incision margin, posteriorly behind the vascular pedicle and across. So you see the two limbs of suture now. One is in that sort of pattern and the other is here. So both sis a vascular system have been occluded by this 
suture of technique. Now what happens next, you will see the two limbs of the suture surfacing as such. The assistant or the surgeon will squeeze or compress the lower segment whilst the assistant checks the vagina at being sort of whilst she's doing that some degree of tension is exerted on the suture materials just temper to now if you let go you see this compression of this lower segment which is achieved the lower segment is now compressed by including the vascular ventricle on each side bleeding is control. You will now close the incision by one or two layer technique as you wish and once that is done the transverse compression is again established while the suture is tied by double lock technique. Can you show that? Yep. Now you have compression as well as devascularization of the area as demonstrated here. The suture is tied at the upper part of the uterus, not the lower part. Because the bladder has been dissected or displaced and maintained by traction, so that no foreign body is found in this area to cause migration or problem. It is also important that the ureters are palpated or identified by palpation or direct vision on both sides of the lower segment to avoid distortion. We have done 12 cases of this particular technique without any apparent problem. Three patients have become pregnant, two had normal delivery with normal placentation, the third was delivered by a caesarean section because of obstetric reasons. We had a patient who had interval sterilization whereby there was no visual abnormality of the uterus or the bladder. The rest were lost to follow up. We would like to assure any observer that this is an effectively new technique to control bleeding from placenta previa. Thank you.